everybody. This week's book of the week is The Little Kitten. <laughs> We're going to read all about this little kitten. And I can't wait until you learn what his name is. Let's read it. The Little Kitten. Aw, look at him in there hiding in the plants. So cute. <gasps> there he is in a pot where the flowers are gonna go the little kitten by Judy Dunn the photographs were taken by Phoebe Dunn so Judy Dunn wrote the words and Phoebe Dunn took the pictures oh that looks like a big cat hmm Jenny's cat was restless it was time for her kittens to be born. She looked in the barn for a comfortable spot to have her kittens, but the straw was much too scratchy. She prowled all over the house and yard, but nothing seemed to suit her. So Jenny made a soft bed for her cat in the bottom drawer of her burrow. That night, six Fluffy kittens were born there. Six kittens? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six kittens. Jenny's cat was a good mother. She nursed her kittens when they were hungry and washed them with her rough pink tongue. Aw, look at all those orange kittens. <clears throat> At first, the kittens seemed to sleep all day, but in the few weeks, they were tumbling all over one another. When the mother cat wanted a little piece, she crouched under the drawer. <laughs> Aww. Look at that one's eyes are blue. Are your eyes blue? What color are your eyes? My eyes are blue. One little kitten was more curious than the others. He was the first to try his wobbly legs. He was the first to peek out over the edge of the drawer. And he was the first to climb out of the bureau. Plop! He fell onto the floor. But Jenny found him and scooped him up before he had a chance to get into trouble. Jenny's mother promised that she could keep one of the kittens. They would find new homes for the others. Jenny loved every one of the kittens, but she loved the curious kitten most of all. You're my favorite, she said to the kitten. Meow, the kitten answered softly. So, Jenny made a bed for her in a special basket. The kitten tried it out right away. He was still little and needed lots of naps. When he woke up, he was ready to go exploring. Hmm, I wonder where he's gonna go. Uh-oh. The curious kitten scampered through the house. He found father's sneakers and tried to squeeze inside. But already he was too big to fit. The kitten was growing very fast. Soon the kitten was old enough to drink milk from a dish. At first, he didn't know what to do. He stepped right into the milk. Milk stuck to his paws and dripped from his chin. Oh, what a pickle you're in, said Jenny. When she saw the milky kitten, saying that gave her an idea. I'm going to call you Pickle, she told her kitten. It turned out to be a very good name for him. The curious kitten got into one pickle after another. One day, he wanted to see what was inside a can of flour. <gasps> Uh-oh. What a mess that made. Pickle looked so funny that Jenny didn't even mind cleaning up after him. <clears throat> Jenny played with her kitten every day. One night, she gave him a catnip mouse. It made the kitten do silly things. First, he sniffed the mouse, and then he batted it, and clawed it, and chewed it, and licked it, and rolled it around on the floor. 
soon the mouse was in shreds and the kitten was all tired out. Jenny let Pickle sleep on her bed just this once. The little kitten curled up beside her and purred. He was happy to be with Jenny. One sunny day, Jenny took her kitten outdoors. She wanted to keep him she wanted him to keep her company while she planted some flowers. Pickle tried to see everything she was doing. He kept getting in the way. <laughs> Finally, Jenny picked up the kitten and put him in a flower pot. Now stay there, she scolded. But Pickle was too curious to stay anywhere for long. He jumped out of the flower pot and set off on an adventure. Pickle wandered into the meadow where he felt safe in the tall grass. He hardly knew where to look first. There were so many sights and sounds and smells that were new to him. He discovered a turtle sunning itself on a rock, a praying mantis waiting to catch an insect for lunch, and two, one, two baby squirrels climbing a tree and chattering to each other. Oh, I wonder if you've seen any turtles or praying mantises or squirrels at your house. Oh, what's that? Have you seen a bunny? A baby rabbit was hiding under a mushroom. <laughs> the rabbit sat very still and hoped the kitten wouldn't notice him. Wild strawberries grew in the meadow and so did lots of flowers. The kitten watched a caterpillar inch up the stem of a Queen Anne's Lace. That's the name of this flower, Queen Anne's Lace. Beyond the meadow, Pickle climbed onto a wood pile. Then he tried, oh, he found lots of hiding places in it. Then he tried to squeeze into an empty woodchuck hole but got stuck halfway. Meow, meow, he cried. Jenny finally heard and came to his rescue. Please don't get into any more trouble, she begged. After that, she held her kitten very close whenever she took him outdoors. Aww. Pickle liked Jenny's attention, but he liked to explore even better. It wasn't long before he slipped away again. This time he practiced walking on the orchard fence. He had a good sense of balance so he didn't fall once. Then Pickle scrambled up an apple tree. Climbing up was easy but he was too frightened to climb back down. Meow, he called, meow. Oh Pickle, you're in a pickle again, said Jenny when she found him. She dragged a box out to the tree <clears throat> and gently helped the little kitten down. Aww. Now don't go off again, said Jenny. Pickle snuggled up to her and purred. He seemed to be saying that he'd had enough, he had enough exploring. But the very next day he was off again. Jenny took him into the birthday party and when the children weren't watching, Pickle wandered away they finally found him snoozing in the doghouse. Uh-oh. What am I going to do with you? Jenny asked her kitten. Suddenly, she had an idea. What do you think she's going to do? Hmm. <gasps> now you can't hide from me, Pickle. What did she do? She put a balloon on her kitty so that he wouldn't get lost anymore. Silly pickle. The end.